19th, and it's a wonderful day to be in southeast Kansas and uh, having a great time here at the office today. Everybody loves everybody, and, everybody, you know, that, that all goes on, but no, having a wonderful time. Uh, birthdays today, we've got Colton and Jonathan and Vicki and uh, the sheriff, Cherokee County Sheriff, and brother to... Uh, Christy, who is uh, up front in the office here, greets you when you come in. Uh, Sheriff David Groves, I wasn't speeding. I wasn't. I, I don't know what he was thinking. Uh, Brock Robinson, happy birthday, Brock. Zach and Brayden, happy birthday to you. Uh, the question of the day is how can a toothache be uh, mistaken for a sinus problem? You know, a lot of times people come in and and they have a, a pain, you know, kind of here, and then they're, they're not for sure what tooth, they don't even, it may be a lower. Um, most of the time, if it's a true toothache, a tooth is hurting because there's decay or abscess or infection in that tooth, most people can go, buddy, it's this one. And uh, if it's more of a diffuse, kind of a generalized type of thing, we start looking towards maybe a, a sinus pressure, maybe not an infection, but pressure going on in the sinus that might be causing that. Uh, there are a couple different things that can be uh, uh, associated with that is that the sinus can be full, you can have a little inflammation, uh, and what happens is, is that the molar roots uh, actually go up into the sinus or in close to the sinus and the roots that come out of the, uh, the tooth and the nerves that come out of the teeth there can uh, roll right down that sinus and so when pressure's there the pressure is on the nerve and the teeth only recognize pain. You know, cold, pain, hot, pain, tap, pain, bite, pain. It doesn't tell you anything else other than pain. That's all the tooth knows. So when that nerve is uh, juiced up a little bit by pressure or something like that, then that, can, that says pain. But it's not actually the tooth, it's actually pressure in the sinus. The nice thing that we have now is that with our CAT scan, we can actually look in, in a 3D model and see that there might be a little something going on there on the tooth itself. There might be a small little infection, a small little abscess going on. Or we can see that the sinus has a lot of, uh, what do we call it, stop buckets? Yeah. That's in there. good. You like that one? <laughs> yeah. But uh, something that's causing pressure in there that might actually uh, be giving you the sensation of pain in the teeth. But the nice thing is, is that, that now, instead of just guessing, we can get pretty darn close to determine whether it's a tooth or it might be a sinus problem going on. So, you know, if you have that kind of a pressure right there, let's take a look at it and see what's going on. Uh, what do we got for a link of the day? We just got funny looking people. Mm -hmm. I saw some funny of, faces. Funny, that was like 12 million views or something. 12 million, 12 million people look at funny faces. Mm -hmm. They're just dying for time, aren't they? I mean, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there going through the stuff, right? Well, I guess 12 million views can't be wrong, but, you know, the neat thing is I saw a few of these things. Uh, most of these faces make me look fairly normal, so uh, that's why we're doing it. We're going to, you know, let you see that, that uh, I might actually be somewhat normal, which is a surprise to you, right, Sam? Yes, very. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Do we cover it? Yep. Um, I think that does it. All of my friends, uh, have a great uh, day. And we'll see you tomorrow.